how to create an asset library in Blender so you can reuse your assets and materials with ease. First, create a new folder where you want your library to be. I like to make two folders, one for assets and one for materials. You don't have to do this, but I find it's better to stay organized. Then in Blender, go to Edit, Prefaces, File Paths, Asset Libraries. Click the plus button and choose the same directory that you have created. For me, it's the Blender Library folder. Drag a new window in Blender and change it to the Asset Browser. Then change it from Essentials to Current File. You will see that it's empty. Select all the assets that you want to add to the library. In the Outliner, right-click them and choose Mark as Asset. After marking them, they will receive a little book icon. That means that they are in the library. But if you change from the current file to the one that you have created, you'll see that it's empty. For them to appear, you need to save the file in the directory that you have pointed to Blender. So, go to Save As and Save in the same directory that you've just created a while ago. And this one I'm saving in the Assets folder. Now, if you change to the one you have created, the assets will be there. You can categorize the assets if you like, like I did for the barrels here. Click the little plus sign, name it and drag whichever assets you want there. You'll see the little star icon next to the barrels folder. That means that it needs to be saved. So just Ctrl S and we are done. In a new Blender project, you can access all the assets that you have in your library. This helps me a ton in my workflow. I hope this helps you too. For materials, the process is pretty similar. Go to the Outliner, choose from Layers to Blender File, go to Materials, select all the materials that you want, right-click them and mark as Asset. And do the same process that we did before with the assets. That's it. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.